Welcome my friends, Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this video tour today. I have Curtis and Arlene with an Overland vehicle custom built on the inside. It's absolutely amazing. I'm going to let them give you a tour on the inside and outside of their rig. So you're going to just see them from here on out in the video. So what we decided to start with was an 06 Fuso. It's the Canter. Um, it's four-wheel drive, turbocharged, and um, gets about 10 miles to the gallon as we go down the road at 18,000 pounds. So we tow a Samurai and two electric motorcycles, and this thing handles everything that we want. This XO cage here, I hit a deer early on when I owned it, and it really tore it up. And I didn't want our legs to be to be damaged in an impact. So. We put a big plate bumper on it with a 12,000 pound winch. This gets about anything that we need to get out of. And this keeps anything from coming inside, like a cow or a camel, anything. It also stiffened it up and gave me a great work rack. Um, that's a 50 inch LED there. I have a 12 inch work light on either side and a rack on top with a bit of an air diverter to get that up over the cab because it's it pushes a lot of air. On the corner here, we put we added the, the rack to the ex, exoskeleton here so that we have access to the whole thing. There's, there's really no ladder on the back of this rig. This whole thing tilts forward for engine access, and that allows me to get in, check the oil, do the belts, and uh, do everything we need to do in there. But we had to keep this light so that it would still roll forward. That was a big concern of ours. Um, we love the 4.9 diesel with a 5-speed because um, it gets, of course, better economy, more low-end torque, and uh, having it four-wheel drive, it, it really helps with the four-wheel drive, just crawling along in the beaches. So when I first got this, it had a master couch that folded out. I took all that out, threw it away, and I built a bed in here this high over to, over to the kitchen, which allowed me to put these huger these bigger hatches in here so that we had more storage across. Right in this area, we have our water in there, our inverters in here. We have four uh, wet batteries and um, 400 watts of solar on the roof. And that, that, keeps us, uh, that keeps us in really good shape every day. We also carry 33 gallons of water, which is sort of small, but we wanted to keep it light. And, and light as possible is the best for us. So here we have a, uh, an outside shower. We love it, came with the rig. All I added was a little flip up there. You pull the handle out and you have your outside shower. This is our heater exhaust. This is our fresh water intake, say if we're hooked up to the, uh, to the city stuff. And then this is the original flatbed frame that came with the truck. And it's a dump bed, so it, it dumps this whole thing rolls off with just four pins and I can park it on the side of the road. And then this is a huge box here that we got for all of our all of our recovery stuff. So it's got the generator, it's got the impact wrench to take the wheels off, it's got cones in case there's a problem, it's got air compressor and a huge um, roll around jack. But that's all of our recovery stuff right there and it locks up completely and then this right here is a sand ladder we were stuck probably six times in Mexico on the beach with this rig and though we used the winches to get out of everything at that point these are super handy um, for a lot of situations it's going to get us out of and and these are super simple they twist right off the plates come off that goes down onto the ground for the tires. So when we pull the sand ladders off, it exposes where the old tires used to be on the travel trailer. So we like that it covers that old spot and it also um, keeps a really important traction device with us. These here, it's all steel frame. I bolted four in, screw it on, and it, it covers all this area. Also, I can, I can leave small gas cans in here. And then once everything's buttoned up, it's it's in perfect shape. This is our exhaust, our intake for uh, our refrigerator right here. And it's all new. We put all new systems in the rig when we built it. 
So when we were building this rig, we knew we'd want to take it on and off of this flatbed truck. So being a dump bed, I put wheels on the bottom here and four different pins on the on the outside. So this truck, just the whole home rolls right off with a flick of a winch. I can drop it on the ground and I can pull it back on. This is my pinning systems right here. It's double nutted. This is, this is welded to the frame of the truck. This goes up into the frame of the RV. You pull this one pin out, this drops down in four places and this whole thing rolls off. It was super easy, doesn't tear anything up, comes right off. So right up in here we have more rollers right here that, that accept it as it hits my flatbed trailer. And the winch is in here that pulls the whole rig right on into place. And then these four pins pin it down. This was a travel trailer. We took it, we had it around, we cut the axles off of it, we shortened the front so that our gray tanks would come into the right place and um, we, we pinned it down and pretty much just drove off. So this is our gray water right here. We converted it to this because we took, we took our black water completely out. The tank was too far back, it was too heavy, held too much stuff. So we went with a cassette head. We really like being able to just pull it out, put it on the ground, roll it over to a bathroom and get rid of our our black water. Um, we use this to get rid of the gray water when we need to. And um, this overhang here is actually the entire bathroom. That's a shower up there. And we have a good sized shower, a beautiful sized vanity, and then a, a hanging closet and our uh, hot water heaters on the other side there. And right here we have the cassette head. There was a lot of different options. We felt like this was the best option for us. All you do is flick this little guy here, it comes rolling out, and you take it, take it to any head and dump the whole thing. It also locks. This is a brand new 10 gallon hot water heater right here. It came with a six, we put a 10 in because my, my honey loves showers. So all the systems are brand new. Every piece of water line, we did PEX and uh, every fitting, everything is completely uh, insulated throughout, all brand new. So this is our 16 foot dovetail trailer right here. It's been, uh, it's been super handy because it's lightweight. We were able to flip the axles over and get a little height out of it so that we can go into the back country with the Samurai still on it. We chose the Samurai because the Samurai is 2,100 pounds and there's nothing better to tow around. And it, it gets great mileage and the windows all roll up and the heater comes on and, and everybody can fit inside of it. And, uh, but this trailer has been perfect. It's got double axle brakes on it. I can just drive the Samurai right off without uh, any ramps or anything. And it also carries our two electric motorcycles, which I can't be anywhere without my electric bike anymore. <laughs> These right here are my love. These are Suron e-bikes right here. You notice there's no pedals. It's all power, all electric power. It's got eight inches suspension travel. They're 110 pounds and they fly. This will do 38 miles an hour with me on it and I'm on the heavy side for one of these bikes right here. My honeys will do 47 with her on it all day long. It's just unlimited. She can just keep going and going. But these keep me very excited because I can go and climb anything I want, come back, I plug them into the solar and they charge for me. So uh, one less thing to have gas for, you know. Okay, this is the sand ladder on this side. It pops right out off of there and makes a shelf when it's not on the side of the rig like so. So we find this is a super handy spot just to be able to put our stuff and um, have a nice convenient shelf there. These stairs have been super handy for us. They're super lightweight. They fold up really easy and come in and out, but we're starting to wear them out. So I'm starting to research uh, newer, better uh, stair systems. And the one I really dig, the whole thing folds up inside and it goes in past the lip of your door. It's going to be fantastic because I'm a little worried about some people getting up and down these stairs because there is no handrail or anything and they are super light but um, these only have a little longer in our in our home. Now that the outside's done we're gonna get my honey Arlene in here to show you the inside. Come on guys I'll show you the inside. So we'll just start in the bedroom 
which I'm really proud of anyway. So this actually used to be a couch area. He was telling you guys about that outside. This is that area that we turned into a bed and he just lifted it up. And of course I did everything on the surface. So all the pretty stuff is me. <laughs> so this was a window behind here. And I got some um, foam board and a tapestry and was able to just glue that and stick that in there. So it looks super fancy now and it's really cheap. I ran the tapestry all the way up the back into these cabinets. I cut all these little guys out and glued the tapestry in there so that it would all blend really nice. And then all of this is real wood that's on this wall here. They're about this thin and they're from old logs in a mining com uh, logging company up in Maine. So this was not a cheap thing but it looks really pretty and both walls together I think was a total of six pounds so to be able to have real wood inside the rig for really and no weight at all was just amazing so I really love that we made these drawers ourselves well actually my honey made these we've never made any drawers before but they're so deep and there's four of them three should be mine and one should be his but I'm nice so then over here we have a hamper which is great we normally have a bag hanging from it so you can just pull it right out and just go right into the laundry mat i was really big about everything having a place because when you're in a small area it really crowds up quick okay so down in here um we cut a little hole down here and we put all of our our shoes go in here this is our shoe barn so they're not even on the floor either which is which is great so on the front side of the boot barn we have an organized drawer that's like all of our medicine, our dog stuff, our chargers, and then we had to put these little child safety locks on everything to keep it from opening while we're traveling. <laughs> so this cabinet here, we increased it quite a bit. Um, it only went about this far, and so we widened it about that much, but you really can't tell any difference whatsoever, but it doubled the cabinet space that we had there. We installed all of these little lights, which are great. They're softer. They're better than just like the car lights that were in here initially. Super easy to wire up. And then, of course, the bamboo table. Tiger-striped bamboo wood that we did in here. It's the heaviest thing in the home. Every countertop has this on it. But it's just beautiful. And having all the character of this wood. And I just, this is one of my favorites, is the wood for sure. Okay, so the cabinet doors, like most of these I made, when we were pulling all the doors off and stuff, somehow some of them got thrown away. I don't know what happened. So I actually made these, and I'm really proud of them because they're just pieces of scrap wood. Like, this is trim, this is trim, this is trim, and I just kept gluing everything together until it had this framed out look and looked like a cabinet door, but you'd never know it. It totally is a cabinet door, so... 17 cabinet doors in this place that I either built from scratch or refabbed. And when I was telling him about it, he's like, we have 17 cabinets. I'm like, can we go back to how many doors I did? So yeah, we have 17 cabinets in here. We have tons of storage. It's amazing. Okay. And then, you know what I really liked about being able to do this kitchen myself is that when the initial kitchen was in here, it was actually two sinks and they were like this deep. It was ridiculous. And it ate the entire counter space. So getting to pull it out and do our own um, we got to do a much deeper sink only took up half of the space and we actually have the board that goes in here so we could have a full counter space too which is really nice but I really like how my honey cut this we had so much fun learning how to do really cool neat things and it just it just adds such a flair to it to be able to see the layers of the wood that are down in there it's just more character I really like it so and then the tile I did this. I had a different color and then we put this in here and it was really clashing. So I really like the white. It kind of opens the whole kitchen up, makes it look really nice and clean. And I just, it makes it look homey. I figured if I'm going to live on the road, I want to feel like I'm living in a home. And that's exactly what this has been like. It's been like living in my own little home with the adventure right out that window. We put in brand new appliances throughout the entire place. We just had a stove top with two burners. Now we have three burners and an oven, which we use almost every day. We were even using it out here in the 90 degree temperatures <laughs> because we like to bake. We like to bake a lot of things. Refrigerator's brand new. It's a three-way actually. It goes on uh, power, propane, or 
the solar. So it's 12 volt. And it's a full refrigerator, good size freezer. So, and then this little cabinet here, I'm quite excited about because I made a special request to my honey to create this little sliding breakfast tray for me. Because I did not want to dig in the back of a cabinet first thing in the morning. So our coffee pot goes in here, our grinder, and our blender for our um, shakes that we do first thing in the morning. So no fuss, no moss, comes in and out. I just absolutely love it and I feel so fancy with the slider door. This is our heater, which works really, really well. We've insulated this home so well that even a couple of weeks ago I was in nine degree weather by myself and it was fine. The only thing is the heater kicks on while you're sleeping if you're in a place that cold so it can kind of wake you up. But I was never cold. You're never cold in here. It works really well. It's brand new too. We replaced it too. I'm not sure anything was wrong with the old one, but we wanted to make sure that we just took off with good working stuff since we were going to be living in the yeah. wild. All right, and then our bathroom, which is really nice to have, is completely separated off. We've got a door that closes. And I pretty much did this entire bathroom myself, so I'm, I'm, I really like it. So I put all of this stuff on the wall in here. It's like a FRP kind of flimsy stuff, but I wanted to be able to just wash the shower, the whole bathroom out really well and give it a boat look. So I did these white walls with the wood trim up there. And then this cabinet I did with the old barn wood style. It still has the same countertop as the other side. This is the little piece that comes in and out with um, a, actually looks like a mixing bowl to me is what I thought. I was like, oh, we could brush our teeth and make muffins at the same time. <laughs> we installed this ourselves, which is a little bit heavier than something you'd probably want. But we wanted the advantage of being able to have things in our bathroom. Wow. <laughs> so this little light's really great, especially for the ladies. I got this for like 10 bucks on Amazon. It's totally rechargeable and it is just an excellent light. It's got three heights, three levels to it. It's much better than this light up here, which kind of washes a person out. So, and then the shower is huge, which we really liked. Um, our curtain rod does the little bend out thing so it actually gives you more like elbow room when you're in the shower so it feels bigger than it is. I don't need a lot of room but my honey does. So very cute little shower curtain. And then in the shower we actually installed this window ourselves because it was just too dark in here so it's really nice to have a window in the shower and our handle is all removable and really nice having a shower. So the cabinets are a girl's dream, let me tell you. <laughs> da, da, da. Look at all those clothes, you guys. What? I know. Yeah. And this is the best part right here. This is a shoe organizer and I have folded my shirts, my shorts. <laughs> I've got so many clothes in this rig. Women don't get to bring things like this out on the road. So I love this cabinet. Love it. It's perfect. Down here is our hot water heater, our trash can, different stuff like that. The hot water heater is actually over here. These are the electrical or gas ways to turn on the hot water heater. Our um, toilet is the cassette head. I'm sure Curtis showed you on the outside how that pulls out and stuff. We did a lot of research when we were trying to figure out if we were going to do the cassette or do the composting and the cassette head seemed to be the most convenient for us and um, it was around the same cost so that's why we decided to do that. It got rid of the black water without us having to know how to compost or build a garden. <laughs> so. And this is Zena. It's great that she has a great little spot right here. The other little guy is always behind me, Milo. And then the wood floors. We did all of this ourselves and I just love it. It's so much better than the old linoleum that was in here. It gives it character too and makes it homey. Yeah, I did those baseboards and boy, you learn a lot of stuff when you're doing this stuff. I had to have nobody talk to me, nobody move around me because <laughs> when you're cutting those angles and I don't know, it's just, it's wonderful how much we learned and there's so many times that we're sitting in the home and we're just like, we built this we built this like it has the energy of us being excited about building it and it's just it's really pretty i think we did a really good job on it i'm always looking around going 
really? This was us, huh? We built this? <laughs> so, it's gorgeous. We, we love it, and it's homey, and you can do it too! And this is our logo, which we're super proud of. So let me explain it to you guys just a little bit. First of all, this is Lake Tahoe, Nevada, which is where we're from. Um, and we liked the way it kind of looked like a foot, so we just put toes on it, and so that's our foot. And then the bare foot is me and the dogs. You know, because it's all kind of got a nice little flow, soft to it, and then their little footprints. And then the expedition is my honey. You can tell with the bold letters and the tires. and So it was a nice way to put where we're from and what we're like all like in just one little loco. And then, of course, you can find us in these places. I'm getting better about Instagram. I post a lot on Facebook, but YouTube is where you're going to find most of our adventures. And I'm going to put links down below so you can get access to all of their social media, YouTube channel, Instagram, everything. So check out the description below for those links. Curtis, Arlene, thank you so much for the tour of your amazing overland vehicle. I love, absolutely love what you've done inside and out. And I think it's just so exciting what you're doing with building your own space and a place that you have made truly yours and unique and that you're so happy for. So yeah. thank you so much for sharing that with, with me and with us here for this tour. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment and we'll see you in a future video tour.